Well, good afternoon, everybody. Respected Kandia Ji, Vahi Sahib, and my great friend, Dr. Rajesh Arora. So before we start this, let me first convey my sincere thanks to Vahi Ji, who has introduced me to Dr. Rajesh Arora. And when I spoke to him, he was so courteous, he visited my office where this today's uh, webinar was conceived. And uh, we have promised to go a long way from here. So this is just uh, one of the series which we have thought of. So there are other things which me and Rajesh has discussed. So once they are, uh, they come to some level, I'll discuss with you Kailya Sahib and Vaisa both. And uh, since some of you may be joining. <laughs> Can you can you switch off your mics, please? We have started this session now. So some of you might might be new to this um, platform. So let me give you a brief about EEC. EEC is the Excellence Enhancement Center for Indian Power Sector, which was conceptualized as part of bilateral cooperation between Government of India and Government of Federal Republic of Germany and was set up through an implementation agreement between Bureau of Energy Efficiency, Central Electricity Authority, Ministry of Power, Government of India and GIZ Germany under the Indo-German Energy Program Phase 2 to promote dialogue in the area of energy efficiency and energy security. It was registered as a non-profit society under the Indian Registration Society Registration Act 1860 and started its functioning from February 2012. So some of the aim and objectives of EEC are to promote peer-to-peer -peer cooperation between Indian power sector stakeholders, to provide a platform for top experts in power sectors, to share best practices in the area of power sectors, to identify challenges in the power sector, to create a technical discussion forum, to facilitate bilateral cooperation and to raise awareness for the need of excellence in power sector. Just for the information of all those who are connected, uh, we, we in EEC has started undertaking various consultancy assignments. We can undertake studies and reviews of your uh, uh, stations and uh, other areas. So this was a brief about uh, Excellence Enhancement Center. So let me first introduce my today's speaker, Dr. Rajesh Aroda. He obtained his B.Tech and M.Tech degree from Delhi College of Engineering. He completed his PhD in the grounding system design from UPS Dehradun. He has worked in 420 kV substation for 14 years and worked for three years in Delhi Electricity Regulatory Commissions. Presently, he is working in the design and engineering department of Delhi Transco Limited. His research interests include high voltage technology, grounding system, design of power system, protection system, computer application in power system, power transmission and distribution designing, regulatory business and affairs. He has presented his paper in national and international seminars and written many articles for many leading magazines of India. So this was a formal introduction which I have given. I would now request PP Vaiheji to say a few words. Uh, uh, good evening, all my friends, uh, respected uh, uh, Kanliya Saab, Chopra Saab, Rajesh Sharwaji. So it is a great honor uh, that uh, Chopra Ji has invited me for today's uh, very important session on safety. And uh, going to be going to be uh, spoken by uh, Dr. Rajesh Roda ji. So right at the beginning, I must uh, uh, must uh, congratulate uh, Chopra Saab for taking all this initiative for today's uh, today's conference uh, uh, with the with the help and support of uh, Dr. Dr. Rajesh Roda ji about uh, as. Mr. Kanjliya, I would I will be failing in my duty if in case I don't talk about Kanjliya Saab. He he is a he is a great stalwart uh, in the power sector uh, of the country. 
has worked as the as executive director in NHPC, worked as for 15 years as secretary CBIP. So I had the privilege and honor to work with him as a director for all 15. 15 years we worked together, did thousands, hundreds of conferences, of course. Uh, so today uh, I'm happy that he's uh, amongst us uh, for this uh, webinar. About uh, Dr. Rajesh Rodaji, I honestly would like to say that he's a gem. He's a gem in the power industry. He, as uh, Chopra ji told, he completed his PhD. Uh, and then in the grounding system, of course, which is a very important area of power system. And in a short frame of time after doing his PhD, he thought of contributing to the nation. And in a small, small uh, time, I say few years only, uh, maybe three years, four years, five years only. So he has accomplished many achievements. Chopra ji is right to say that he, is, uh, he has uh, written many papers. So rather, I would say he has uh, recently completed the, he is a Silver Jubilee man. And he has uh, complete, uh, completed 25 papers. Only in one magazine, only in, in one magazine that is Electrical Mirror, and they those those uh, guys they have celebrated the Silver Jubilee Electrical Mirror people, and the other papers uh, I think they are over and above to the, the Silver Jubilee papers. But if I must have written, I think more than 60, 70 papers by now. But I think Rajesh, uh, I'm sorry, I don't know the exact number. But then then comes that he has done. He has done the Silver Jubilee on webinars also. He has just completed 26 uh, webinar, webinars or he organized it. Because right beginning, he started with a, with a very prestigious group uh, for power engineers. That is IP, I, IPE, Igniting Power Engineers. So he is a leader uh, and manning that group. Uh, very effectively, day-to-day -day discussions are taking place with the power engineers. There are... There are, I think, about two 2,000 members of that group. Then, then he has uh, started the very important mission, that is the accident-free India. I think uh, safety is a part of it today, what we are going to talk about. That mission very vigorously is being followed up by him day in, day out. He's having the pledge ceremony at, in all the conferences, wheresoever it goes, whether it is CBIP or other conferences. So that uh, he is taking the people along, taking the power engineers along. And there is a target uh, behind uh, target behind this mission. That, and I would like to uh, submit to you that daily uh, 50 to 60 uh, people die in India with the electrical accidents. And if we take the official figure, it, it turns out to be around 15,000 deaths. Why, sir, you are muted yourself? Why, sir, you are muted. Perhaps you have lost uh, contact with him or he is back. Uh, I know he is not opening. Hello, I think you are getting me now, uh, Chopra, sir? Yes, yes. Sir, you are online now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I what I wanted to say, I'll not take more time, but we we have to focus on accident free, accident free India mission with the with the support of all of all of you, Kangya Saab, Chopra Saab, Rajesh ji is already leading the mission, and all my friends who are listening my voice, we have to see that there are minimum deaths in the country due to electrical accidents, and and we have to educate the we have to. We have to awaken everybody, the public, the, the utilities, the, the, the electricians, the contractors, the, the ministries. The, I think, and uh, I hope you'll be in a position to help a uh, uh, mission started by Rajesh ji and today the lead taken by Chopra ji or this contact. I just to you, I think. I'm sorry if I have taken uh, Chopra ji more time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, so much. thanks for your valuable words, sir.
I would request uh, EEC Secretary Kanglia sir to say a few words before I give this stage to Rajesh. Yeah. Sir, unmute yourself. Kanglia sir, you are muted, sir. Kanglia sir, unmute Kijia Gatuna. Are muted? Ah, yes. No. Yeah. This is a very, very important topic. Good evening. All the those who are connected over here. So safety of the personal safety of the animals, safety of the installations, overall safety. That is the topic for today. So I won't take much time so that we can have more time with Dr. Roda. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. And uh... Rajesh ji, now stage is yours. So all Hi. the participants are eagerly waiting for your uh, interactive session to move on. Off. So I give this stage to you. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon to everyone. First of all, I would like to start with thanks to Almighty, my family, my mentors. What I feel, what generally people think is, despite efforts of governments, individual NGO, there is a remote chance, there is a fair chance that the people will implement the safety or follow the safety rules. Because we feel that we have become thick skin. After one accident, we wait for another to happen. We don't learn from our previous experiences we have. But what I feel, as my mentor, I have always say, Sing the same song again that I am singing. People will definitely one day for sure start liking singing the same song. This is my belief system. There may be a world of difference between the rules regulation in place and the actual implementation. And I'm not the only one who is raising the voice against negligence. There are many other people in the country working parallelly to make this nation free of electrical accidents, electrocutions, fire, because all this gives pain. But I feel we should be on the same page so far safety is concerned, and we should not allow note of discord to creep into our discussion, especially for the safety matters. I always, I just exhort everyone and invite intentions of shortcomings in the field at the ground level. And we, I try to pinpoint weak area of different, different power sectors through my small videos, my talk, panel discussion, open discussion. I just believe in the grace of Almighty family and my mentors. And I know I am strong enough to cut the mustard. And I request everyone don't ignore the elephant in the room. That elephant is negligence of rules and safety, electrocutions and fire, short circuit. Let's start discussing this elephant in the room. All of us are in the same boat. I request all the eminent big shorts present here in the power sector to come forward to support my mission. My mission to make my nation, my country, this globe free of electrical accidents because of poor earthing or negligence of regulations. With that, I'm going to start my presentation on a very important topic, electrical safety for yourself, your loved ones, practices, rules and regulations. Can you see my screen? Yes, sir. Yes, Rajendra, it is visible. It you is full. Yeah, right now. To zoom mode. Okay. I have already said that 
the topic is very different electrical safety for yourself why yourself because what i feel you have to start love yourself first before you love others when you take care about the safety of yourself definitely there will be change in the mindset there will be change in the scenario because the charity always start at home you have to take care of your loved ones you have to understand the practices being followed and what regulation says every morning we just get up wake up with the news in the social media electrocution fire short circuit death of animals death of people it gives pain every accident gives pain i feel that pain every day it's a painful area we have to address it this is the government figure 30 indians a day you just multiply it by 5 because death of one person affect the five persons in the family that means 150 persons are being affected by all these things and we are ignorant we don't understand there is basically major difference between the knowing something and understanding something we know their rules are there regulations are there ca safety regulation is 732 is 3043 nec 2023 despite all these regulations well in place same thing is happening <laughs> we wait after one accident electrocution fire short circuit we wait for another to happen time to wake up come just break your sleep start working with me we have to stop it the more the moment the monsoon arrives in any states the social media is full of these videos a person touching the pole gets electrocuted we are just looking at it scrolling down feeling bad but end of day we forget even these animals are not left out they are not spared from that disaster they are also affected very painful who is responsible i don't believe in naming and blaming i never say this electricity board this distribution board is responsible but i request everyone time to wake up time to break the rules time to get out of all these things start working in the directions of safety at least understand the objective of the regulations in place all these are meant to protect us protect our family protect our city protect our nation time to get up this is the very simple method 
to pass the bugs. Wherever something happens, the blame goes to this short circuit concept. When you don't get any results, finally blame is given to short circuit. The file broke out because of short circuit. This accident happened because of this one. This is one of the reason. But behind the scene, we have to stop this short circuit. Why it is happening again? It is true that it is one of the cause of accidents, fires. But who will stop it? We have to understand. I'm not saying we have to know. We have to understand the logic. We have to understand the causes behind the actual circuit. And I can tell you very simple thing. Being an electric engineer, there are three things very important. Voltage, current, and frequency. When you talk about voltage, you have to provide proper insulation. When you talk about Current, you have to take care of the overloading short circuit current capacity. When I when I talk about that frequency, the third component, you have to take care of the harmonics being generated by your gadgets you are using at home. You never bother. We know very well that short circuit is the reason, but we don't try to understand the basic reasons basic causes creating that short circuit. Because of that short circuit, the heavy current starts flowing and because of heavy current, the heat is generated. That is the heating characteristics of current. <laughs> When oxygen is available and some combustible materials comes in contact with that heat, it is about, it is quite sure the fire will start. You can't stop it. You have to ignite the fire within you. Ignite that fire within you and take a place to make India free of oxygen. Aware people, educate people, talk about safety, talk about the rules. I am going to explain the rules available. At least read two, three pages of these regulations every day on a daily basis to understand the thing and implement it in your, in your system. Otherwise, this fire news is not going to stop. I think and grounding. We have to understand equipment, I think. We have to understand system, I think, that is a neutral, I think. We have to understand different types of arching system in distribution system, TN system, TNS system, TNCS system, TNC system, TT system, IT system. When all these systems are there, there are three fundamental things you require. You need basic protection. You need some protection against fault. You need some additional protection. When I say protection, that protection against electrical hazard, electrocution, protection against over voltage, protection against over current, protection against thermal effect, protection against lightning. When I talk about our thing, the Bible is 3043. And this is can be downloaded free of cost from the side of BIS. It has 44 headings 
and each heading itself is a bible try to understand what the system are thing how to design how to check the cross sectional area of earthing conductor don't be ignorant start working in that direction <laughs> this is the analogy that will help you to understand how to stop fire because of fault current or short circuit we are talking about for many years what do you do what is your duty when you look at ambulance on the road you give path you give way to that ambulance to reach the hospital so that the patient inside that ambulance can be saved Here the patient in my system are costly equipments, living stock, personal working in the system. Kindly provide dedicated path of that fault current to reach to the source. This analogy of ambulance with the fault current. Which help you to understand the concept, and I am quite sure next time whenever you come across any ambulance on the road, you will start automatically thinking about these slides. It is bound to happen. When you give way to ambulance and ambulance reach hospital, the patient, the persons at home. family members feel happy similarly if you provide proper designing of earthing system and provide a path of that fault current to reach to the source in the minimum time system in charge power system in charge substation industry in charge building in charge family members family owner factory owner will be happy you can avoid that fire scenario because of short circuit just rajesh ji the certain people who are raising hand my request to them is let rajesh complete his presentation we'll have the complete question answer session then let him complete his presentation first yes rajesh ji please continue what i feel the charity always start from your home in the present era there is one thing which is loved liked by everyone in fact difficult to live without it you know what is that thing this is your mobile phone you start your day with mobile you end your day with mobile we all are addicted to this mobile but to run that mobile we need one charger honestly speaking how many of you have looked at the safety requirement of this charger have you ever look at this is 1325 part 1 or ic60950 part 1 have you look at that squaring square symbol that in show the Have you ever looked at the maximum capacity of your charger? This is the very first part. When you take care of yourself, your loved ones, this is the point where the safety start. This is going to be a series of such safety webinars. This is the beginning. and i would like to start this series with fundamental things first and i will try to cover all the aspects all the reasons creating how creating disaster in our system becoming the cause of 
सोशल मीडिया न्यूज रिलेटेड टू इलेक्ट्रोक्यूशन फायर शॉर्ट सर्किट it is high time to look at a small but very crucial and important things to ensure safety let's begin this is a common scenario everywhere you go in the hospital in the building in your house in your office extension cord extension cord itself is connected to one socket having limited capacity to take to carry current but we just overload it we don't care we don't love we don't look at this important thing please be careful extension cord is a temporary arrangement you should not make it permanent and don't overload it in your office at your home kindly unplug the appliances when not in use to save energy as well as to minimize this kind of shock and fire It's a very simple thing we can do. Why to keep all the appliances gadgets on always? Time to wake up. Lose connection. we don't care about the connection made by electrician at home <coughs> we just want that our appliances to start we don't look at the workmanship we wait for accident to happen please avoid all these things please <laughs> extension cord i have already expressed is a temporary arrangement don't make it permanent for a day for a two days for a week it's okay after that make it Kindly arrange some permanent arrangement for that socket to run your appliances. All these things are the real causes of fire at your home, in the buildings, in the industries. Hey, officer. never plug space heater or any heavy load in an extension cord or power strip your power strip has limited capacity so far current carrying capacity is concerned don't use heavy load on that strip because of heat the insulation will break and because of failure of insulation there will be fault and because of fault the fire will be there avoid it <laughs> very common scene in all the big houses is we don't want that cord to visible to anyone we run our cord under rugs carpets doors or windows the problem is that you can't monitor the health insulation monitor you can't look at the insulation condition of that wire you are using for your appliances finally one day when everything has gone you get that results in the form of fire or short circuit
very fundamental things, very, very fundamental. We can start big on substation design, earthing and everything, short circuit design. It will be there, but we have to start from small things at home. Very common condition I have seen in many shops. Extension cords become the tripping hazard. It is on the way. Avoid all these practices at all. That's why the name of this topic is practices and the regulations. I'm talking about the practices first and I will talk about the regulation. Very painful. <laughs> Don't keep combustible material, potential combustible material, less than three feet from heaters and other heat sources. Sometimes because of space constraints, you keep it close. And finally, the chances of fire become small. Make sure you use the proper rating illumination fitting for illumination lamps. Kindly match the illumination fittings, voltage rating with the luminary you are going to use for your houses, building, industries. Be careful. Make sure your home, your offices, your industry have smoke fire detection alarm. And at least go for the health checkup and if possible, replace it after 10 years. You have to ensure proper earthing grounding design based on the requirement of site. I am repeating based on the requirement of site. The market is flooded with so many claims so far this earthing and grounding are concerned. This earthing can give you 1 ohm, this earthing can give you 0.5 ohm. Before you become the victim of all this business strategy, big claims or being trapped understand the purpose of earthing and grounding for your system what do your actual requirement is you have to understand equipotential bonding you have to understand <coughs> bonding and earthing you have to understand the proper size of earthing conductor. You have to understand, you have to understand the proper size of electrode required. And I always say in my seminar and in my video, I have already expressed that thing many times. Again, I would like to reiterate that OLOE. That should be the takeaway of today's webinar. OLOE, one location, one earthing should be the fundamental rule. It should not be like that. There is separate earthing for your electronic system, another earthing system, another electrode for your power, other for your lightning. All must be interconnected and you have to go for the global earthing. IFC 043 definition, page number one, start with the global earthing concept. And it clearly indicates that all the systems all the earthing system in a particular location, the particular premises must be interconnected. 
The same thing has already been depicted in IS-732 also. IS-3043 also talk about interconnection of your lightning and <coughs> power earthing. Don't get confused. Just keep in mind OLOE. One location, one earthing. Your problem will be over. Proper selections of MCB, RCCB, or any other protective device. This is the very important aspects because when we talk about the protection, the protective device, selection of that protective device that will help you at a time of the fault is your MCB. If you don't select it, select it properly, for example, for example, your load is 10 ampere. OK. You just install MCB type C. That means. 450 MPS for 10 MPS MCB into 10 for 100 MPS. It is not going to do anything. It remains silent. Then you blame MCB. It didn't work at the time of fault. It didn't work because your selection was wrong. In the market, when you purchase your MCB, look at the tripping curve. B type, C type, D type. Look at the tripping curve and the time. Based on that, you select your MCB. You select your RCD. It is mandatory to use as per the CA safety regulation. 30 million MPS we have to use. If you go to market, 19% in the market type C, type C, type C, MCBs are available. But you have to choose as per your requirement. Don't become ignorant when it's matter of selection of your MC or RCD. If you uh, take proper attention in the selections of the device, no one can save you. Again. At home, in our offices, we are using electronic gadgets. All our ACs are inverter ACs. Our refrigerators are inverter refrigerators. We are using computers. We are using laptop. We are using mobile. <coughs> we are using microwaves. Comes with electronic devices. And one thing is bound to happen, distortion of your waveform. Creation of harmonics. When harmonics are created by your gadgets, these are detrimental to your wiring system, distribution transformer, it generates more heat in the neutral. If you haven't chosen the proper size of neutral, because of harmonics, that is the most ignorant subjects. Fire will, will take place. And at the end of the day, you, you will be totally clueless what happened. And again, the report will say. The fire broke out because of short circuit. Time to wake up. Proper selections of cables and wires. <laughs> In the market, class 5 cables are available. But my NEC has clearly directed that we have to use only class 2. 
it becomes difficult to find that class two cable in the market. The resistance for the same size of cable, the class two is comparatively less, less resistance, less heat, less chances of fire. Never overload your cable. Proper formation of circuits. Proper distribution of load is must. To avoid fire because of these cables and wires. Proper, when I say proper selection, the short circuit capacity of that wire. Basic insulation level of that wires plays very important role. Be careful. With these small tips, there will be big, big change in the system. Always try to use good quality gadgets. And you are requested not to use outdated, outlived, damaged gadgets or appliances. These are more, more prone to fault. Don't use such gadgets at home in the offices. Proper maintenance of equipment and gadgets. You have to do the preventive maintenance. You have to do the proper condition monitoring. If you are not doing it, you are not looking at the health. One day that will fail, definitely. We take care of our health. We take care of our loved ones. At the same time, condition monitoring, maintenance of the gadgets which are helping us, which are making our life smooth, must be done. Proper coordination. Everything is well placed. Proper rating of MCBs are there. But when it comes to coordination, this is the painful area where the people, the main area, one of the main cause of failure of protection system. We feel everything is well in place. Still, some problem happens. Your protection system fails because of these reasons. Be careful. Regularly inspect, test electrical cores, extension cores, electrical gadgets, electrical circuit full damage. A list of PC IS732. Kindly conduct all these tests, especially at the time of commissioning of your wiring system. As a part of your preventive maintenance and condition monitoring. <coughs> I started my presentation with electrocution of people touching the pole. But try to understand why it is happening. It is happening because despite Arching of that pole, the resistance of that path going back to the source is quite, and because of that high resistance, there is one that is called earth surface potential. And because of earth surface potential, there is potential difference between your leg and the hand touching that pole. And because of that potential difference, that current starts flowing. 
Hello. And you get Hello. electro cooler. The main reason is the touch potential, especially in the monsoon seasons. When you don't provide the proper earth, what will happen? There will be an earth. And an earth itself is a disaster. Such incident will continue. Such scenario in the social media keep flashing. Provide earth to avoid an earth. Safety on, accident gone. Change your mindset. <laughs> I have talked about tactics. Now I'm going to talk about going to talk about important regulations available. We have to understand it. Latest safety regulations. Measures relating to safety and electric supply 2023. It came into force on 8th of June 2023. In this regulation, there are 14 chapter and 136 clauses. This is also available from the side of CA. Please go through that. It will help you to understand the safety requirement in different, different sections. Another Bible documents you have to go through the special publication 30 2023 National Electric Code 2023 by BIS. It comprises of eight part. And all eight parts cover your safety requirement for different installment in the different locations. It talk about protection. It talk about safety. It talk about verification. It talk about testing. It talk about lightning. It talk about protection against over voltages. It talk about protection against electric shock. It talk about protection against over voltages. It talk about electrical safety. And it talk about energy efficiency. It talk about harmonics. It talks about power quality. This is the Bible. In part one, there are 22 sections. In part two, two sections. In part three, there are three sections. In part three, there are 22 sections. And in part five, three sections are there. Total eight parts are there. Apart from that, another Bible is Code of Practice for Earthing. You can also refer. CBIP manual of earthing 339. That will also help you to understand. The actual. Requirement of earthing and safety. Always keep another IS in your library. So far safety is concerned. IS 732-2019. It comprises of six sections. It's talk about installation requirement, verification, testing, safety, wiring system, test to be conducted. Audit, everything it talk about. It also talk about one location, one other thing.
when you are in a building you are in office you are in multi story buildings another is ic 62305 that is related to protection against lighting must be followed that should be the part of your library it has four part 62305 part 1 protection against lighting general principle part 2 talks about the risk management part 3 talk about the physical damage of damage to structures and life hazard part 4 talk about electrical electronic system within structures don't you think we must contribute to eliminate the electrical accidents if you think let's take a pledge and and i'm going to stop sharing my presentation and let's start a pledge i request rahul ji kindly unmute everyone if possible and i will end my session with a pledge please stand up for 50 seconds please humble request to everyone yeah please unmute your mics and stand up for a minute this is the matter of our nation this matter of not as fun hi i and i will also suggest person mora ka message diye dunno राजेशंट so let me open the floor for question answer sessions yes, yes sir. sir in the beginning we said it is an interactive sessions please come forward with your questions now good afternoon sir This is Rajiv Rinjan Sinha from the Amudar Valley Corporation. I have, yes, have one query regarding. I have one query regarding uh, earthing. Hmm. Actually, uh, our soil has got uh, resistivity of the around 180. Okay. And uh, when we calculate uh, the resistance of a single electrode hmm. independently, hmm. it comes around 1.8. okay but uh, everyone is saying that it is not allowed but, but uh, when i showed them that we uh, we can consider it as a legal because uh, if the earth resistivity is more than 180 and with the logarithmic equation we calculate it should be uh, around 40 ohm so it is less than 40 ohm so can it be uh, allowed uh, to go further with this uh, value of electrode earthing 
if we connect with the global grid of our thing? Yeah, sir, I have already mentioned in my presentation that the takeaway of my session should be OLOE, one location, one earthing that itself is a global earthing. That must be connected. And coming to your point related to the values you are getting, when you are talking about any substations or industries, there are three concepts. One is the GPR, second is transient GPR, touch potential and step potential. And after doing the proper designing and the calculation, if you feel that attainable touch and step and GPR is less than the <coughs> allowable touch potential, the system is quite safe. You should not worry about it. Oh, you have you, you can refer IEEE 80. You can also refer IS 043. And in case you feel you need further guidance, I am available 24 into 7. You can contact me anytime. And I will give you full deliberation can be done on that one. Yeah. Any other Sir? Please go ahead. Please go ahead. Hello? Yes, you are audible. Uh, you uh, said that uh, we have uh, to use uh, low harmonic equipment. So uh, when I uh, go to buy equipment, how do we select that uh, it is a low harmonic equipment? Uh, presently, in India, presently in India, there is no such regulations are there, but the, the response will be given to manufacturers to take care of the harmonics being generated by gas. If, if you want to calculate harmonic analyze there, but that is a total equipment, everyone can't have that equipment at home. And uh, we have we have talked to it. many manufacturers. They are supposed to declare that harmonic generation by their gadgets on the name plate. Kindly feel free to ask the question. I am ready to answer. Even after session is over, my number is with Chopra sir. You can take my number and my email address. You can send email and you can call me directly to Verify the queries you have in your mind. Either you can mail your queries to us at EEC or you can mail your queries directly to Rajesh. Either way, we'll be very happy to give a satisfactory answer to you. Please don't hesitate. Come out with your hesitation and ask the question. Because it's a matter of safety, it's a matter of my nation, it's a matter of my globe. Sir, Rajiv Ranjan Sinha again decides, sir. So yes, sir. I, ha I have one query. Uh, whether the lightning arrester means that the uh, lightning rod uh, we install mm -hmm. on the uppermost part of our building. Right. And uh, as far as I uh, earlier I came to know that it should be uh, earth separately independent away without uh, no no a global uh, grid. Yeah, it should be interconnected. It should be OLOE should be the takeaway of this session. One location, one other thing. There should not be any difference. Means, uh, but 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 if, if it is the lightning uh, uh, earthing, 
is it so we have to connect it with the global earthing or or, or what is it compulsory as per uh, rule or we can keep it as independent no uh, there are three documents to be referred isc 043 is 732 and even i triple 80 or uh, you nec you can refer you can refer ic 61 triple zero part two all these talk about one location one i think and there should not be any difference when you are talking about yes they, what the is 3043 says la must be connected directly to one electrode dedicated earth electrode and subsequently that electrode must be connected to my earth mat i the reason there is a difference between constant and lightning current i think lightning Five seconds, and these are pulse. The pulse must be discharged as early as possible. That's why dedicated electrodes are given. Further, it is connected to my global earthing systems to provide very low resistance path to that one. And apart from that, if you are worried about the impact of that lighting in my electronic system, we are using SPD surge protection devices to take care of that thing. Sir, my concern is that we cannot predict the strength of the lightning and we can even we cannot predict the duration of the lightning. And if we connect that lightning, uh, it's uh, if we connect that uh, directly to the separate uh, electrode and that electrode is connected with the global grid, then right. And some other equipments like CT and PPT, their secondaries are directly connected to the ground. It means right. we are injecting that high much voltage of lightning to the secondary of the equipment. And if the duration stands there for longer period of time, then may it may damage. Sir, try to understand one thing. In the substation, everything is equipotential. We have already connected everything to the mat when everything is at the same potential there is no chance of potential difference point number two it is a pulse let's say it is of 20 kilo amperes at the higher side my earth mat is designed to take care of 63 kilo ampere 40 kilo ampere 31.5 kilo ampere 40 kilo ampere you should not worry about that thing at all And I can I can share good technical papers related to that. Don't worry. Sure, sir. I will come in contact with you. Yes, anytime, separately. man. Anytime. Yeah. Any questions you have related to lightning protection safety? You are free to ask. Don't hesitate. It is the right time to ask. Let your query be come out. And finally, we have to make India free of accident. Yeah, that is the ultimate aim. Yeah. So if uh, I feel if there are no questions, as Rajesh Ji has uh, said very clearly, you can post your uh, queries or any doubt to us as CEC or directly to Rajesh Ji. We'll be happy to give a clear cut answer to those queries. So if there are no more questions, let me request Vahi Saab before I invite Kanjliya ji to say <laughs> concluding words. Vahi ji. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Chopra Saab, uh, giving me opportunity to say a few words. I'm uh, really impressed with the presentation given by Rajesh ji. No words are there with me to appreciate. It was... Uh, Excellent uh, attempt on the part of Rajesh ji. He has taken a lot of pains. If you see right uh, basic uh, things, he, basics he has explained right from small cable, right from a small switch, uh, right uh, basic sea care which we have to keep it in our minds because we, and very rightly in the beginning he has said, okay, we, we have developed a habit of negligence. And accidents do take because of negligence. 
and we as engineers have a role to play and particularly as he while he says that the charity begins from home we have to start from our homes we should start making good habits we should start teaching you see uh, those things to our children our and uh, not that ultimate if you see the ultimate objective ultimate objective as he repeatedly said to you is that we have to make this country free of accidents and simultaneously have we lost him i think we have lost him but till he gets uh, reconnected can i request uh, kindly sir to play say few words uh, <clears throat> dr roda had made an excellent presentation covering the broad aspects but this should not be taken as the last of the programs because safety is such an important and what subject so we have to get deep into it the very many facets of this uh, a thing so we should deal separately we should have many more program so i am highly thankful to all the participants for uh, being uh, connected for this program and uh, we in ec will organize many such programs thank you ah i think vai sahab is there vai sahab uh, yes there was some there was some interruption automatically so yeah. what i was saying that we all as repeatedly rajesh ji has said we all must get geared up must join hands with him that is objective and we have to see that we have to make the country free of electrical accidents that is the objective you see for today's session today what we have discussed is and uh, on his side he is always ready to help us on his side he is always ready to provide us the knowledge and anything you want and as very i must appreciate him when he says that i am available 24 24 by 7 that is a thing you see i must salute him for that and uh, all of us you will appreciate his his gesture and his availability always to help us so what we have to see that we are going to have more big conferences uh, physical conferences also besides all uh, besides webinars so we would like to see that we we as i already said we have to awaken the electrician i mean the, today the electrician is illiterate it doesn't know even and we have to see they are they are trained the skill council skill com power sector skill council is there kangya saab he is uh, he he is a executive member of power sector skill council we have to take their help we have to get it is it may take a bit of time may take couple of years to see to go ahead but we have to make the dedicated efforts see every day every every moment every uh, so join our hand and go ahead with that whatever difficulty we have to see that we whether utilities are there we have to awaken them we, we even the 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 minister energy ministers are there we have to awaken them the union uh, power ministry we have to awaken them even we have to awaken the prime minister office also because one death as very rightly said is causing pain as and right at the starter jsc has said it causes you pain and when you multiply the 15000 15000 deaths you see in a year you see the volume of pain can be well understood and i will humbly request you with folded hands all of you not to forget the pain when 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 you are leaving this conference keep it in mind that pain always and keep it yes this is a mission because today today somebody has died elsewhere tomorrow it can happen with me also why why can't it be electricity you see cannot leave leave uh, uh, you see me under under faulty conditions so i can also be affected my fam family member can be affected so we should try to join hands let us not forget the mission is not to forget this 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 uh, 
important uh, uh, topic. And we have to awaken right from prime minister down to the electrician, everybody, and see that at that I will request uh, Kandiya Saab is there. He is a person who has spearheaded uh, and uh, contributed all his life in CBIP also, and I was a part of his team. We did it. We 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 did conferences on maladies, maladies of distribution system, and all that. Many conferences on the subject earlier also last year. And I will request him to kindly, kindly, uh, Chopra Sahib also, Rajesh Ji also, to organize a very big session where we can invite. Uh, I've already requested them. The union, the central electricity authority, the union power minister. We start with that. And then next meeting, we may maybe we may go to the extent of calling even the uh, minister also in, in that so, conference. Because subject is so big, we 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 have to take it to the highest levels, and uh, we have to extinguish that pain which is generated every year. 15,000 people dying, and if, as very rightly said by Rajeshji, if there is five members, and let us say 75,000 persons getting affected in one year because of that pain. And see, multiplied the number of years, you see, it is going to be a real a critical area. We must all contribute, and my best wishes to, to uh, Chopra Sahib, Rajeshji, and my heartiest thank to, once again, to Rajeshji for doing a wonderful job. I don't have words to put it. And uh, appreciate his, his uh, real dedicated efforts. He always does, but again today also, you see, I must I must salute him for his wonderful contribution today. Well done, thank Rajesh ji. And thank you, Kanjia sir. Thank you, Chopra sir, for this for thank this uh, seminar. Thank you. Thank you once again. Well, thank you all the participants. Uh, let's meet next time. Would request Rajesh for his next presentation. I'll be speaking to him. So we'll. Try to have as many presentation. Use is uh, very well authored and very well experienced. And is why he has rightly said he is a crusader now. So he has under, undertaken uh, that all electrical accidents needs to be eliminated to make thank you, our thank country you safe. Much. Thank so, you for attention. Thank you, thank you all the participant. Thank you, Rajesh ji. Thank, Thank you, Aizab. Thank you, Kanjia Saab. So let, let's meet next time. Thank you, sir.